Tuesday, the 16th of February, 2016, and it's time for the Doctors' Clinic. Your host tonight, Helen. Why did Helen take it away? Well, thank you, Rob. Your help is so much appreciated. You are awesome, and we just appreciate all you do. Um, so uh, DW is on the road this week, and so he had an awesome meeting last night in Missouri. He's on the Kansas-Oklahoma border in there tonight at another meeting, just just out there making it happen, and he is just awesome at what he does. And so he asked that I would help him with this call. So um, here I am. Uh, good evening, uh, everybody. Welcome to the doctor's call um, this Tuesday evening. And we've got Sizzle's own Doc Fizz, who's just out there making things happen. He's a chiropractor. He absolutely loves Sizzle, and he loves science. And every time I hear one of these calls on Tuesday night, he is just a wealth of knowledge. So I learned so much. But I think he's got some great testimonials lined up tonight. So uh, without further ado, here's Doc Fizz. Take it away. All right. Well, thanks, Helen, and thanks, Rob, for uh, being on the call every week and helping and, and making sure that we've, we've got this recorded in the back office at, at the uh, sizzledoctorsclinic.com. Um, my name is Dr. Kirk Bisnick. I'm a chiropractor. I actually practiced in Fargo for about 25 years, and then I got involved in a bad motorcycle wreck, and I was really looking for a way of, of being able to help people um, with, with, with the option that, that, that if my left hesitated, I'd still be able to help them um, from home. And, that, and that's what I discovered. So I share that with people and with, the, with the idea that letting you know that, that that's really first and foremost about, about why I ended up over here. And I love doing this call because it makes me uh, use that brain function as a physician of, of explaining to people um, why are the products working and how are the products working. And so tonight, instead of just kind of doing a lecture, what I, what I really want to do is, is bring people on. And I've, got, I've got a number of people lined up that have had uh, great things happen using the products. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and explain how did the products work and why did the products work because I think that way – for everybody that's listening to the call live, and for those of you that are listening to the recording, then you can explain it to your friends and your family. Okay, take a look at this product. This is what it did in this particular condition. And a number of years ago, I was I was looking for a network marketing company, and I went to a, a meeting, and it was uh, people who didn't speak English, and so they had to have a translator. Excuse me. And the uh, the translator had me get up and tell my testimonial, and I, I gave my testimonial, and, and it was probably two or three minutes long, and uh, and and he translated what I said into about a twenty minute speech, and then um, a gal that was uh, Vietnamese got up and spoke and told her testimonial, and he looks over at me. I was one of like five people who spoke English at this particular meeting. He looks over at me and he just simply said, he said, it worked for her, it worked for you. And, and that was the testimonial. So I always remember that. And so as we're talking about the things that are on the call tonight, think about that if it worked for um, Christy, if it worked for Rachel, um, if, if it worked for these people, chances are, if you know somebody that suffers the same type of a problem, chances are it will be of benefit for them too. That being said, I really want to be uh, crystal clear that with whatever we're talking about tonight, we, we have to be careful with the FDA that we, that we make sure we say that the products don't cure, we're not diagnosing anybody, and, uh, and all we're doing is we're taking the products and we're improving the function of the body, the body's normal healthy function, and we're making it work better, and that's how the products work. So that being said, um, what I'd like to do, first of all, is uh, I'd like to bring my friend uh, Rachel on the call. Uh, uh, Rachel, if you're there, if you could hit star six, hopefully you were able to make it on the call. Hit star six, and that will unmute your phone. All right, I'm on. Are you there? 
Yep, she can is. you hear me? All right. Well, hi, Rachel. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. And, and uh, uh, Rachel, what I'm going to do for the format really tonight, just to kind of let people know how I'm going to run this, is that I'm really going to ask you questions just kind of um, as if you were a new patient in my clinic, and I'm going to do a, a history taking with you real short. I'm not going to get really in-depth into it, <clears throat> but just find out kind of your history, and then, and then we'll, we'll share with people what kind of um, things have happened in your life, and then I'm going to go back and explain the products that you were taking, how did they actually make a difference, how did they work. Um, so, so, Rachel, kind of give me a history. What kinds of things um, um, did you notice, like, when, when you first, uh, I mean, you were diagnosed with a, a, a little bit. Sorry, you cut out. You were diagnosed with a serious. Hello? It's your diagnosis. Are you there? Yep, are you there? Oh, okay, sorry, you kept cutting out. All I heard was diagnosis. Okay. Yeah, tell us a little bit about your diagnosis. What were you diagnosed with? How long ago? Um, I was diagnosed with, can I can I actually say the word? <laughs> hey, you sure can. With, okay, <laughs> with, uh, with breast cancer. Um, it was about five years ago now. Okay. And what stage was it in when you got diagnosed? Stage one. It was stage one, so it was caught really early. And that's really where you want to catch these things. Um, they say if you catch it in the, in the early stages, you can really make some huge differences with people. And, and that. so when the doctors found that, um, what did they recommend? Uh, they were really aggressive, actually, with, uh, with the typical treatments of um, chemotherapy and radiation. They, they were just hammering it into my head constantly. And did you, did you actually take some of, the, some of the recommended treatment? I did not. Oh, so you chose not to do the medical route at all? No, not at all. Um, just, I mean, I don't know if there's anybody out there that doesn't have somebody close in their life that has cancer. And I've, I know so many people, and I've never seen a positive outcome from from the typical right. medical treatments. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I I applaud you. I mean, that's that's one of the things that that I, I for me, if I got diagnosed, I probably wouldn't do anything either. But you know. So five years ago, you were diagnosed and you were kind of told that this is what you needed to do. Otherwise, you know, chances are it was going to get worse. And I'm sure, uh, you know, you've heard the same story that I've heard from other patients. And, uh, and then so you went looking for something else, an alternative, and you happened to come across, uh, across uh, Sizzle. Did you, do anything, um, did you do anything in between when you got diagnosed and, and when you discovered the, the Sizzle products? Um, I tried um, some of, like, I did a lot of online research for more of, like, a holistic, long-term uh, cure or benefit or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I tried a couple of different diets. I tried an alkaline diet and a ketogenic diet. Um, and I hadn't seen, like, any result, like, when I went back and got, you know, got retested. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's all I tried. I didn't try any um, any drugs. Right. Or anything. So, you, so you just switched what you're eating and went and went with more vegetables and stayed away from the anything that was mm-hmm. acidic. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and then and then um, you started taking which products? Which sizzle product? Um, Eternity. I uh, I had a mutual friend who knew Tom from Sizzle and. You know, and I didn't really know what she was getting me into, but she said, "Hey, let's let's go to headquarters and meet with Tom." I didn't know who this guy was, and he sat down with me, a complete stranger, nobody, not even interested in the business, for two like two two and a half hours, explaining to me about the product, and he sent me home with um, a huge duffel bag full of Eternity. Eternity. 
yeah, eternity, and, um, and he said to take it three times a day. Wow. And uh, and uh, what kind of results did you notice? I mean, how long did you did it take before you start seeing results? Um, I honestly don't know, but I six months. Um, it was about six and a half months actually from the time I started taking eternity to when I got retested, and I was coincidentally cancer free then. Six months. Yeah. And the only product that you were taking was the resveratrol. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's all I had been the, taking at the time. The eternity product. And uh, and what did your doctors say then? Uh, they said they wanted me to get retested, and they were confused. And <laughs> <laughs> I told them if they wanted to pay for the retesting, I'd be happy to do it. <laughs> right. And, and and it's been so it's been five years now, and uh, and uh, have you been retested in in the five years? Yes. Um. Uh, what was it? October. I got retested, and I'm still in the clear. So no cancer has come back at all. Mm. Wow. Well, that's a that's an amazing testimonial. And, you know, I'm going to say this again because anybody that's listening to the call, I really want you to know that Rachel had some fantastic results. You might even say miraculous of results, right? It might even be considered a miracle, right? And, and I say that because we can't say that these products cure or treat or anything like that. And, and, uh, and so, so Rachel was using a product that um, – that's called Eternity, and what Eternity has in it, the active ingredient, the very active ingredient, is something called resveratrol. And uh, resveratrol has been studied for a, a very long time, um, and it's been it's been found to really help people that have certain types of situations, right? And I was just looking up online on PubMed.gov. It's a government website that publishes studies on not just nutrition, but they publish studies on all sorts of things that are considered to be medical or health related. And just a ton, a ton of new research has just been put out there on resveratrol. And the resveratrol, what it actually does is it it helps balance out the body's normal hormonal levels. And in a case like breast cancer, or in, in men, prostate cancer, or in women, you know, cervical cancer, ovarian cancer, things like that. Those are all um, hormonally driven types of cancers. And so what the resveratrol does is it helps balance that out. But the other thing is that they find that it, it improves the, the overall function of the cell. And if the cell is healthy, what it's going to be able to do is it's going to be able to fight back. And that's the whole thing, right? Everybody that's on the call right now, we all have cancer cells in our body, but our immune system is strong enough to recognize that that's a cancer cell. It's an abnormal cell. And then your immune system goes after it, attacks it, and kills it. And, and really, when you read up on, on cancer, that's the only way to get rid of cancer is that when your immune system is strong enough and, and it recognizes that message that, that your body sees that says that's not a normal cell, that's what you want to strengthen. And that's exactly what happened uh, with, uh, with Rachel when she took this product. So, again, we, it didn't cure anything. It didn't treat anything. All it did was made her immune system so that it recognized that something was wrong and it went back and it boosted the immune system in a way that actually helped take care of the condition. Here she is five years later. And she can still say that she's that you know she's she's free of any of that disease. And so, uh, Rachel, I just I want to thank you for being on the call and sharing your story. And uh, and hopefully there's one or two people that listen to that and they'll be able to share that story with other people. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to help. All right. Well, next, what I'd like to do. Um, I'd like to run down to Oklahoma, and let's uh, 
Let's talk to Christy down in Oklahoma. Uh, Christy, if you want to hit star six and jump on the call here with me. I yes, appreciate I'm you here. taking the time. Yeah. Well, there you go. And, and Christy, you and I were talking earlier today, and I've always watched your posts on Facebook, and you've had some pretty amazing um, results for yourself as well. Kind of give us a little history. Um, how long ago did you start having trouble and kind of give us an idea of what kinds of health problems you were challenged with. Well, about, um, I'd say three and a half years ago now, I ended up in the emergency room that, one night uh, with chest pains, and I had taken my blood pressure at home, and it was 230 over 140. And Holy cow. scared to death, I drove, <laughs> I drove myself to the hospital. And so that started um, the high blood pressure uh, medications and things that they put me on um, and at the same time I was struggling with a lot of um, back and, and neck issues as well so that and those started the lower back issues actually started um, 15 years ago and um, it just progressively got worse they wanted to of course do surgery on my back and my neck and I elected not to do those things so um, here we are today so, so your back pain actually started about 15 years ago, and uh, and the neck pain was uh, was not 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 long after that, I'm guessing. Well, it was about four years ago, four to five years ago, is when the neck and shoulders um, the problem started with those, and then again they just progressively got worse to the point I actually uh, Doc almost lost the use of my upper extremities, um, my right arm especially. I had numbness. Um, over the whole top part of my arm, and I couldn't even, like I was telling you earlier, hold um, a towel to fold it without my arms getting so tired they would just fall. So, wow! It was, and it just, yeah, I mean, if you don't mind sharing, like, what kind of what kind of age range are you? Because when I look at your picture on Facebook, you look you look like you're in your thirties. Um, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm actually I'll be 48 in April. 48 in April, and you started having yep. problems then, so when you were in your early 30s is when you started having problems. Yes. Um, after I was diagnosed with a, um, I had a bulging disc at L5 and S1 after having my twins and carrying them. That was my third pregnancy and carrying twins, so it was rather rough on my body. I had some other issues as well that uh, were surgically corrected after having them, and uh, yeah, so... The bulging disc was there. At that point, they told me there was really nothing they could do for that, and I just needed to live with it. And so I continued, right. of course, work, working as a nurse and doing the things that I've always done, and then I got to really to the point where it was really limiting. Um, I couldn't even work as a nurse any longer. Wow. And so, so what, did they have you on pain medications, I'm guessing? Actually, I suffered through a lot of it up until about four years ago when the, the whole neck and shoulder uh, thing went in. I went to the Texas Back and Spine Institute, and that's when they told me I needed to have the surgery. And told me they diagnosed me with spinal stenosis. Um, they told me I had the bone on bone at L5 and S1, and then they told me I had um, pinched nerves in my neck with two bone spurs, and those uh, were located at C5 and C7. And that's what was called wow. the upper extremity problem. So they gave me all, I wouldn't take anything to you, give me the lidoderm patches. And I used those occasionally, but they really never helped. So um, I didn't use them for very long at all. So just uh, dealt with it. <laughs> right. Well, you were telling me after things got bad and you had the high blood pressure, how many medications did they have you on eventually? Uh, at at the highest point, I was taking it, uh, it was either 13 or 11, it was 11 medications um, from high cholesterol because that's genetic. Um, I have was taking diuretics, um, high blood pressure medication, of course, and the diuretic along with it to keep it uh, coming down. And um, I was taking hormone replacements because I did in my early 30s have a total hysterectomy and have dealt with those problems. Um, so I was basically a train wreck until now <laughs> right well and then and, and so you got introduced to sizzle and uh, I, and 
you know, and I know, again, the same thing that I told Rachel, we can't ever say cure or treat, but what products did you start taking right away? Right away, I ordered the Fucoidin and the Eternity. Those are the two that I researched the first and um, wanted to see what they would do for me, and I, I had dramatic results. I mean, uh, almost immediately. I, uh, wow. Would get up like, what kind of results? Things that I, well, one of the things I noticed, first of all, and, of course, going back to, you know, I had my blood pressure test still and everything here at the house, so... I started having these dizzy spells, and I thought, what on earth is causing this? So I started checking my blood pressure, and my blood pressure was down to 100 over 50. <laughs> so I consulted with my doctor, of course, and um, he told me, he said, well, just stop taking it and see, you know, what's going on. At this time, he knew I was doing the sizzle products, too, and, and he's totally on board with it. But, so I just checked my blood pressure for a few days and realized that it, at that point without the, the blood pressure medication it was staying like 110 over 70, 110 over 60 and I was feeling great. So, no more blood pressure medicine. Excellent. Excellent. So, it, so it went down from what was the high, just to kind of repeat it for everybody, what was your high at well, that time? Well, well, it would, with the blood pressure medicine, I was keeping it down to like 140 over 90. It still wasn't, you know, bringing it down as low as they wanted it. Uh, at my highest point, it was well over 200. 200 I, it was like 240 over, uh, 210 over 140, 220 over, I, I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was it terribly high the night I was in the emergency room. Right. Oh, my God. You know, I tell people, I say, when you get blood pressure like that, it's like, it's like your heart is is on fire. It's like it's it's like a, it's like a balloon ready to explode. Right. Yeah. I was pretty scared. <laughs> I bet. And so then, so then it dropped down to to normal blood pressure. And then, you know, yeah. since that time, I know you've been taking the products for a while now. Um, what what have you noticed? I mean, as far as like your medication use, things like that. Um, you know, what, what have you noticed since, since you've you, uh, been using the products for a while? Well, one of the other things that I noticed just almost immediately is um, the fact that I was having no more hot flashes and the mood swings. And the hot flashes were horrible for me at night. Even um, on medications they'd given me, it wasn't, you know, I was using creams and things that they had formulated and it wasn't helping me. And so those went away. Um, my pain, it went from a 10 just about every day to almost not even realizing it was there. And it was just like such a relief. At first, I didn't even realize. And then to, uh, I started getting a lot of function. Of course, I found a very good chiropractor here in town, too, that he, you know, helped me a great deal because I was totally out of alignment, and, and he helped me a lot. But the pain never went away. And so I think it was in March I added the renovator, and that has been a lifesaver for me. Um, the I'm essentially pain free every day, um, and and I don't even take that renovator every day anymore. I take it when I need it, and um, most times I do take it at night. But I have missed it for four or five days at a time, and then the pain will start back, and I'm thinking, oh, you silly thing, you should have been taking it all along. So it is. I mean, that has been a saving grace for me because of that bone on bone in my back. Of course, the pain would radiate down my legs. And at night would be horrible because I'm a side sleeper. And, of course, that's pressure on its spine. So it would pinch those nerves and the pain would be horrible running down my legs to the point it would wake me up having nightmares that something was wrong with me. I've even dreamt that I was in a wheelchair. <laughs> and uh, now I don't have those nightmares anymore and the pain is not there. It's just not. So your back pain is gone. Mm-hmm. Yes. And your leg no, pain uh, you know, don't all of that. Oh, yes. Yes, and I had restless leg syndrome, of course. That's what they diagnosed me with, too, and, and you know, that's gone. Um, it, it's just been a tremendous relief for me. I'm back to functioning. I can, I'm can. i even working out doing cardio exercises now, and I've been taking this product for a year. I've added some of the others, of course, along um, the road, too, like, like the energy and, and things like that, and I believe those have helped me as well, but my gosh, just those first two did tremendous things, and then the renovator was miraculous to me. I couldn't wow. even get in the floor you know, to play with my grandkids, you know. <laughs> it was it was sad. 
Wow, that that's just crazy good, you know. Um, and and Christy, as I look at it, and I start talking about, it, I've talked to other people actually. Um, actually, I'm working with, with my friend Annette, and and she noticed the same thing that she started using the products, and she had been on high blood pressure medication for years, and uh, and she started taking the products. And she was able to totally go off all her high blood pressure medication almost immediately within 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 four weeks of using the products. Mm-hmm. It was an almost immediate thing for me. Yeah, that's just crazy good. And, and so, you know, for people who are listening to the call or for those of you that are listening to the recording, um, you know, when, when you start taking these products, so much of the time um, when we listen, we listen to Christy's history, right, she was she was having back trouble. She had had um, um, had had given birth to a number of children, twins at at the end there, and 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 so what's going on? What's actually causing the problem? And a lot of times, what's happening is that when we take a look at our at our nutrition, most of the time we're not getting the nutrients that we actually need. Our body craves certain nutrients, and we just aren't getting them. And what happens is is that think of it like this. Um, your body needs certain nutrients at certain times. So think of it like climbing the stairs in your house. And, and I'm thinking as I'm talking and as, I, as I'm driving as well. And, and, and you're walking up the stairs in your house, and all of a sudden you get to the second landing, but you don't, you don't have, you don't have the, the nutrients that you need to get all the way up the next, the next flight of stairs to get to the upstairs in your house. So at, at that point, what happens is, is that you stay on that landing. Well, if we're talking about healing and you're talking about the fact that you need nutrients to get from that landing up to the upstairs and you aren't getting those nutrients, all of a sudden now your body kind of tries to do um, homeostasis. It tries to balance things out as good as it can at that level. And so what happens is, is then the blood pressure goes up there's inflammation throughout the body. Your body can't get rid of toxins. And all of these things are kind of cascading. And, and I'm not getting into it really in, in depth, but I just want to give people an idea of what's going on. So now what happens is all of those, those toxins, they get stored outside of the blood vascular system. They get stored in what we call the extracellular fluid. And I'm sure if you pay any attention to to any kind of medical reports and things like that. You, you've heard of extracellular fluid, and Christy being a nurse, you know what that is. That's the fluid on the outside of the, your blood vascular system. Well, eventually what happens is because all those toxins are there, your body needs to dilute those toxins out so it starts putting fluid in there, more water, and what that does is, is it dilutes out the toxins so they're not as toxic, they're not as poisonous, but it increases the pressure on the outside of the blood vessels in the extracellular fluid so that it's higher than the, than the pressure on the inside, which is called the intracellular fluid. And through a series of biofeedback systems, biofeedback loops that your body has built into it, what it does is sends a signal back to your brain, and the brain says, hey, we've got to increase the blood pressure to equalize this pressure difference here between the extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid. And, and so when that happens is, is that your blood vessels, the pipes in your system, think of them like the pipes, the plumbing in your house, they're only designed for a certain amount of pressure. So they're designed for that 120 over 80, for example. And what happens is, is that the pressure goes up, and those red blood cells, as they come flying down the pipes that were designed for 120 pounds of pressure, now they're pumping through at 240 pounds of pressure. You can imagine at twice the blood pressure, it's going to start ripping and tearing your blood vessels a little bit. As it does that, it sends another signal back to your brain, and it tells your brain, hey, we've got to fix those little holes in the blood vessels. And so that sends a signal back to your liver, and it tells your liver, start making some cholesterol. And what the cholesterol is, it's the patching agent, just like here on the highway that I'm driving on. If there's holes in the highway... We're going to patch them up with, with patching stuff. And so in your body, um, the patching stuff is the cholesterol. Well, cholesterol is a type of fat, so guess what? Most of the toxins that we're exposed to in our life 
are fat soluble, so the toxins get, start getting deposited in the cholesterol, which is fat, in your blood vessels. And so they've done these studies, they've done biopsies of people who have died from heart disease, and guess what? They're finding lead, they're finding mercury, they're finding Teflon, they're finding all of these things in the cholesterol, in the blood vessels, in the, in the, in the placking and in the cholesterol, in your blood vessels, because those are places where your body says, hey, we can store these toxins here for a short while till we find someplace else to get rid of them. Well, all of this stuff is going on inside Christie's body, and it's overworking the liver. The liver can't get rid of it. So all of a sudden, now you start having this, this whole thing just going, it's going haywire, it's going more haywire. And all of a sudden, the biofeedback system can't keep up, and the messages start getting crisscrossed inside of your body, and everything starts to go wrong. Like she said, she can't even lift her arms because, um, because they just hurt so bad, and they're that weak. And so what do the products do? Well, number one, Pucoidin is an excellent product for getting rid of inflammation. When I treat one of my patients and they have lots of inflammation, one of the first products that I hand them is I say, take this. I said, use it for 30 days. If you don't see, if you don't feel better after using this, just one shot glass a day after 30 days, I make a guarantee with people. I say, bring it back. I'll buy the empty bottle back from you for what you paid me for it. And, and I've never had a bottle brought back to me and because it gets rid of the inflammation. But the other thing that it does, it's a highly sulfonated product. And, and, and a lot of people don't think about this, but back when we used to use food that was real food before we called it organic food, um, the food had lots of organic sulfur in it. And organic sulfur is an ingredient that your body needs to take you from that landing on the staircase up to the second floor when you're going through healing. And because you don't have enough, then your body stops at that point. So when Christy was going through all that chronic pain and, and all of that, that's what was happening. And, and Fucoidin, it's loaded with that. And you start thinking about where else do you hear of organic sulfur, right? You hear of it in MSM, methyl sulfonyl methane, right? Glucosamine sulfate, right? You think of it in chondroitin sulfate, um, shark cartilage, right? All of these different things, what's the thing that they have in common? Organic sulfur. And so when you take a look at, at, at Fucoidin, it's one of the most highly sulfonated products that are on the market, and so that's how this works. So it starts to get the healing process going. Then you add a product like Renovator, and what Renovator has in it is, again, it has a lot of the, the organic sulfates in it. It has natural products that get rid of inflammation. It has natural ingredients that stimulate the body to trigger the healing mechanism to start. So, again, you can kind of see as we go through that, she starts using the Eternity, the resveratrol. What does the resveratrol do? Well, it works with the organic sulfur to make your body go through that healing process. But the other thing is, is that they found is that when you're taking resveratrol in high enough dosage, what it actually does is it turns on this sirtuin gene, and the sirtuin gene is the gene of youthfulness. And, and I remember when I was 30 years old, it was about the time when I started going, oh, man, I'm feeling old. I'm starting to feel older because at about the age of somewhere between 25 to 35, the sirtuin gene sort of shuts off. It's not as active, and you don't feel as young anymore because of the fact that, that your body just can't heal up as quickly. And so the, the Eternity, it has a resveratrol. You drink a three-quarter ounce shot glass, it gives you the equivalent of drinking 40 bottles of red wine, 270 glasses of red wine in one three-quarter ounce shot glass. That's how powerful the resveratrol is in that product. And so you can imagine what that's doing for Christie's body. All of a sudden, starts, it starts to, to repair all that damage. It starts to get rid of the inflammation. When it gets rid of the inflammation, guess what? The extracellular fluid pressure is lower or, or at least down to the intracellular fluid pressure, the body starts to go through this healing process. The biofeedback system says, hey, we don't need to have the blood pressure being up as high anymore, lowers that, 
It starts to say, hey, we don't need to put this patching material in the blood vessels anymore. So it starts to dissolve all that placking. And guess what? The body knows how to get rid of it. And all of a sudden, all those toxins that were being stored, they start to come out. It's really a cool thing when you start to see it happen. And you start listening to stories like Christy. Think of the people that you know. I bet everybody on the call knows at least one person that has a story similar to Christie's. And, and you could just share that information with them. And I know I'm running late on time here. Um, we try and keep the call down to 30 minutes. I've only gotten to two of the, of, the, of the five testimonials that I had lined up. I do want to bring um, my friend Mike from Watertown, South Dakota, on the call. Christy, thanks for sharing your story. I sure appreciate that. And I'm sure there's a lot of people Thank that you. just appreciate Thank that. You. You bet. And, Mike, um, if you can hit star six, if you made it onto the call, I'd really like to just quickly go through your, you know, the story of how you were able to help your mom with, with her condition. Uh, Mike, are you there? I certainly am, Kurt. Certainly can you hear me? Kurt. you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, Mike. Thanks for getting on. Um, kind of give us a little history on, on your mom because I want to go from talking about, like, Rachel's story to Christy's story and now a little bit more about, like, the things that are going on with your mom, what kind of things does she have going on? Well, my mom is uh, 75 years old as of right now, uh, today. And, Happy birthday uh, to mom. Yeah, well, as uh, it was actually back in August. <laughs> um, we're getting anyway, a lot of feedback. Hey, Doc, can you mute your phone for a moment? I will. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Mike. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, four, 14 years ago, uh, she was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, she was to the point where she was really in, in a lot of pain, and uh, she was so painful uh, with the rheumatoid. Uh, I had to help her get dressed in the morning and, and everything, so uh, it ended up being a big, serious deal. And uh, she went to the doctor, and uh, they, they discovered that she had uh, rheumatoid. So uh, just uh, she, her her health just continued to deteriorate. She was in a lot of pain. I mean, it was seriously a lot of pain to where she'd cry. Um, it's not something you'd expect to do uh, to help take care of your mom, you know, back in, at that point in time anyway, you know, usually later on in life. But... Uh, I came in the since about four and a half years and we're just about four and a half years ago, it was about four years ago now in January. And uh, when I came in the sizzle I didn't really know anything about our products, anything about it actually, anything about <laughs> any any uh health and nutrition products and sizzle had the, the product Eternity. It's a uh resveratrol product and uh so I told Bob, so I'm gonna put you on this product, we're gonna see how you do. Um when she uh, got diagnosed with her rheumatoid arthritis 14 years ago, she was on a uh, she they put her on a pharmaceutical uh, drug called methotrexate, and uh, doctors you know pharmaceuticals they don't make medicine out there to cure any people they just make medicine out there to get a person by, and uh, you know just run the course and uh, so when I put mom on the on the eternity. Uh, she, Started out with an ounce a day, once a day, and uh, each and every year she has to go to the doctor and have a blood test checkup and everything. She told the doctor what she was on and everything, and they kind of, the doctors kind of like blew her off, you know. She was like, yeah, well, okay, <laughs> you're on something anyway. But anyway, uh, they get to check her blood every every 12 to 6 months and make sure that, uh, that the pharmaceutical drug that she's using uh, doesn't hurt her uh, organs in your inside, like your liver and your kidneys and everything. And each and every time the blood tests would come back, uh, that her results were improving, and it really blew the doctor away. And so we'll just keep a, a close eye on this. And uh, he said, uh, I think I'm going to take you back on some of your methotrexate pills, and we're going to take and decrease that a bit. And uh, since your pain levels uh, on the sed rate has went down, and uh, we'll just go from there. And uh, so they decreased her, her methotrexate pills. She mom stayed on the attorney. 
And uh, so I'm up to the eternity to uh, an ounce uh, uh, twice a day. And uh, throughout that time, uh, of course, more years passed on and, you know, more months and everything. And, and just, just this last year in September, she went in for her uh, checkup again, and they kept on decreasing her methotrexate pills. And she's down to two methotrexate pills right now. Uh, the doctor doesn't feel confident enough to take her off it, but in September of last year, uh, the doctor said that her rheumatoid arthritis has went into remission, and he wasn't confident, confident enough to take her completely off the methotrexate. You know, he just didn't know if she'd have a flare up again or not. So, you know, she's really to- totally blown away, and so am I. And it's it sure is certainly a turnaround from what it was 14 years ago. Well, Mike, you know, I appreciate you sharing that. And, and you know, the SED rate, you know, um, basically that's a way of measuring inflammation. So when Mike talks about the, the ESR, the SED rate, that's a way of measuring um, inflammation in the body. And so is your mom taking any other products besides the, besides the Eternity? Just the Eternity. Just the Eternity. So for, for those folks that are listening to the call and those people that are listening to the recording, think about that. Here we have a case where somebody is diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. It's an, it's an autoimmune disorder. It's actually where your, your body's immune system has gotten overactive, and what it's doing is it's saying, hey, something's not right here, something's not right inside of these joints and inside the, the, the cartilage, inside the, the soft tissue between the different digits of your fingers and your toes and your hands and your wrists and all of that. And what it's doing is it's setting up um, an attack system to go in there and attack the soft tissue between your joints. And while it does that, your immune system starts to eat away at it. And when you look at it on x-ray, it looks like a little rat has been going in there and actually eating away at the bone and at the cartilage and, and you, you start to see the, these wear at the joints, and that's when the joints start to get kind of disfigured. And, and when you see people with advanced stages of, of rheumatoid arthritis, their fingers are all crooked and twisted up because the joints have been destroyed by our body's own immune system. So what did the Eternity do? Well, the Eternity, again, you know, I've described it. It's got high doses of resveratrol. What it does is it normalizes out the body's system, so the body says, hey, we, we don't need to be attacking these joints anymore. And I know I'm simplifying that, and I'm, I'm using highly technical um, um, medical terminology when I say it that way, but think of it like that because now when you go share this with other people, it makes sense. How did it work? Well, it told her body, don't attack those joints anymore. But then the nice thing about the resveratrol, remember what I was saying earlier, in high doses, she's drinking the equivalent of almost, um, almost 600 glasses of red wine per day. That's the doses of resveratrol she's getting. And so what happens is, is you're kicking in that sirtuin gene, that gene of youthfulness, and it's going back and it's making the repairs to where in a four-and-a-half-year period, like Mike said, think about what he just said. His mom now has function, and I know her. I've met her at the meetings that we have in South Dakota. Mike, would you say that she has pretty good use of her hands now, not just pain-wise, but pretty good use of them? Oh, absolutely. Uh, She's she's like painless. Uh, She can actually function in life and get along in in life on her actually her own and dress herself and get back to what she was doing in life, enjoying it. I like that. Mike, thanks for being on the call and sharing your mom's story. I mean, I, I, to me, when, I, when you told me that story uh, last year or two years ago, I just thought, holy cow, because I would never have guessed that resveratrol could do that. Me neither. <laughs> I never would have guessed it. And I sure appreciate everybody being on the call. And I know I took a little bit longer tonight, and, and forgive me for, for doing that, but I just had to get Mike's story out there because it is such a good one. And, and, and I, I know there's probably four or five of you that are sitting waiting to share your story and you're chomping at the bit to do that. Um, 
next Tuesday, um, I would really like to have all of you there sitting on the sidelines. If you would be on the call with me, we'll do the exact same thing. I like this format because now it's not a lecture. It's actually getting some stories out there and, and letting people know what we can see with these types of products. And then maybe once a month or, or so, I'll do kind of more of a lecture when we come out with new products so people understand how the ingredients work. And then we'll go back to doing it like this. So, so uh, Rob, if you want to close out the call, and, and Helen, if you, if you want to say a few words, um, thanks, everyone, for being on the call. And, and you can have everybody listen to it on the sizzledoctorsclinic.com. Wow, what, a, what an I'm, go ahead, Helen. <laughs> I was just going to say, what an awesome call. I just was all I can say is, wow, wow, wow. The the t testimonials, Rachel, Christy, and Mike. I mean, how amazing is that? I mean, it's just awesome, you know. And the products, how they're helping people, totally amazing. So, what an awesome call, Doc Fizz. And you know, like you said at the beginning, if it worked for her. It worked for you. I mean, what more can you say? At the very least, it's worth a try. Thank you all for being here. All right. And see us next week, same time, same phone number. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks.